Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to yet another simulator game, this time Car Detailing Simulator. I certainly love these types of sims. All sorts of different crazy, like, uh, repair sims or modification sims or games of, uh, you know, fictional vehicles like mechs or spaceships or, in this case, cars. All good and all welcome on the channel. In fact, it makes me want to play my summer car again, just looking at the car. Yeah, it looks nothing like the uh, Sumatra... Su Su Sumatra? The Sumo. The Sumo Wrestler. I always forget the name, but uh, yeah, it makes me want to actually play that game again, which is good. Anyway, instead of doing things like uh, putting in a new battery and changing the oil and doing all that, we're working on the exterior of the car today and doing all the, uh, well, the detailing, right? Interior, exterior, but mostly doing with just, uh, you know, beautiful work on that gorgeous paint job. You guys want to see more of this game? Well, uh, we'll see. I mean, Steam's got this on demo right now until the 22nd, so hopefully you're able to grab this one. And I hope you've been spending lots of time on the Steam demo event to try all sorts of different games and add them to your wish list if they're interesting to you. Well, let's go ahead and jump in with the uh, demo of this one. Get me excited, by the way, for Car Mechanic Simulator 21. That's coming out hopefully sometime soon, where we get to build our very own uh, car mechanic shop inside of a gas station. It's good stuff. All right, let's get started. See what our jobs are. You know the drill. Go over to the computer. I haven't even played this game, by the way. I already know what it's going to be. Go to the computer. Hey, my blah, 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 bird crapped out my car. Here's 500 bucks. Like, you know, clean up my car. That's how it always goes in these games. Oh, boy, I certainly do like the shop, though, the loading screen. Yes, that's blurry, but I'm in a hurry. Let's go. Also, it looks very professional. It doesn't look like we start low. I wonder if we can upgrade our shop. I don't know what to expect. I guess that's why it's a first look. Uh, let's see. I see rims. I see... Oh, a very nice shop indeed. Look around. Move around. What? This is really fancy. Yeah, this is where the customer would come in and sit down and wait for their car to be detailed. This is way... This is way too fancy. Way too fancy. No way. Wow. There's like Applebee's that are this nice. Jeez. Okay, WSD to look around and move around. Okay. Oh, what's that? Cell phone on the ground? What the hell? Oh, yeah. Crouch and pick up your phone. Left shift to run around. Nice. What? And then this is exposed to, like, a giant open garage? That seems very weird. Go to the computer and select a task. No way. No way. All right. Open the computer. John Johnson, I don't have time for cleaning and... <laughs> Are you kidding me? You don't have time to bring your car literally through the gas station? Wait, no, I was reading his thing. Don't tell me to accept. I don't have time for cleaning and washing the car. Company, children, family, blah, blah, blah. Uh, everyone rides with me, but nobody wants to clean this mess. Get it sorted. Wash the car uh, from the outside. Hurry up. I have no time. The Abori 81. Oh, this is just car wash sim. Okay. Uh, you have the option of increasing the number of spaces for cars. Okay. We'll place it there. Oh. Well, maybe it is like my summer car now all of a sudden. So he just wants a car, car wash. Okay. Go to the uh, indicated spot and pick up the washing tools. You got it. And go to the car to start work. I feel like we're uh, sliding on ice here. Open the pie menu and select inventory options. And foam emitter. Using the foam sprayer. Cover the car with foam. Do it precisely. Okay. Well, that seems pretty easy. This already feels like we're washing the car. This is all white. So we got to probably do all the car, right? Oh, hold uh, space to stand on tiptoes. Ooh, that's helpful. Kind of getting up a little bit without having to go on a ladder. That's nice. More games, uh, just like My Summer Car and, and this game, need to do more, you know, where you can press a button and just, like, kind of lean in a little bit more or, or stand up just a little bit or something in between, like, crouch and, uh, and prone. You know, like a bend over status or something. All right. So, what, you want me to get the whole car, like, foamed up? Like, is that what we're doing? Wow, it's, it's going to turn, like, into a ghost. It's the ghost car. I guess we're getting the windows, too. I see the bar filling up, so we must be doing it right. Man, imagine all this foam we've wasted already. Oh, boy. I guess the other half is spraying it off, so let, let's just get everything. I have no idea what's needed. I've never seen this before. Foam spray for a car. Feels like we're doing a paint. Oh, there we go. Open the inventory menu. Boy, that's our journal. And select the pressure washer. Oh, cool. Yeah, get those tires, boy. Oh, we should probably start from the top down, really. Well, nice. That's a, a touchless car wash right there, for the most part. Aside from the water. 
Let's get the roof, too. Can't believe this guy didn't have time to go through the car wash, but he does have time to, like... You know how much time it would take to, like, bring the car here and then, like, order an Uber or, like, have his wife pick him up? Like, that's just... You know, it's a lot of work. And then to come back here again. But no time to go through, like, the touchless car wash at the gas station, especially with this car. Maybe this could be a collector's car, though. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of nice. I mean, it's you can tell it's definitely from the 80s, late 70s. All right, there you go. Car washed. Go to the phone to finish the order. All right here. <laughs> I'm spraying my car. I made my phone with my uh, car pressure washer. Would you like to return the car? I would, yes. Job done. Holy crap. Press spacebar to make a photo. Okay. Uh, choose a frame to insert the photo. There you go. All right, job done. He paid us. Wow. 200 bucks for that? Okay. It's always crazy in these games when people will pay you, like, you know, $10,000 to, like, change the brakes on their car. All right, left click to open the memories. I don't... I don't remember anything. Oh, cool. There's a f before and after. Oh, that's that's actually pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. Wow, was it really that dirty? Okay, well, that's cool. It didn't... I don't remember it being that dirty, but it must have been. All right, uh, use the pie menu to select the shop and then purchase a wheel cleaning kit. Uh, so shop. Wheel tool kit. Is that what you mean? I guess that's it. Go to the computer. Juan Alvarez. Uh, we have a dog on the estate and a cat and a mud monster, I guess. Take care of the wheels and make them shine. Don't look in the trunk. Anyway, never mind. <laughs> the matter is settled. Okay, so Mafia. Clearly a Mafia guy. Wants us to... Uh, really? You can't tell me to not look in the trunk and then... Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Clean tires. Go to the marked spot to pick up the washing tools. Oh, I can see. That's kind of cool. We can switch out our tools. Well, that's kind of cool. You can't carry everything at you at the same time. You have to, like, store it, which makes the garage actually more useful because there's places to put things now. Oh, I can figure out washing the wheels. All right, let's go to inventory. We have no tool, wide, and soft brush. I guess we'll do the wide one first. Uh, let's see. Use left mouse to hold the brush in your hand and start washing the rims. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, I see. Wait, like goes into these little spots and... Oh, I see. We're, we're pushing it back and forth in the rim to get all the dirt and stuff out. Okay. I wasn't sure what, what the circles like that meant. Yeah, then we gotta go around the wheel. Okay. Okay, there we go. How do I know if it's good? We're about a fourth of the way there, but I mean, what else am I looking for? Uh, change the tool with the middle mouse button. Doesn't look like it lets me. Left click to use tool. This is just a brush though. I see dirt. All right, so we're washing the wheels, and we're, we're washing the wheels, and we're washing the wheels. Okay, you know what? I think that's one-fourth done because there's four tires. It's not the tire that was being washed. It's really the, the job completion status. That's what it is. This is called the Do the Doge Coiner. Does every damn uh, indie dev now have to make a Doge Coin joke? This is like the second time this week I've seen one. Oh, there you go. Wheel well, and then the tire itself. And we wait until it gets halfway. Hopefully this is the type of game where you can do a job like 99% of the way. And they kind of just give it to you. Because it looks like we're at like 50 or 49% right now. We're like short of 50. Although I feel like this tire is all done. Maybe there'll be one more thing to clean. But I do like this job though. This is usually something you don't get to do a little bit in uh, any of the other car games. Is that you're doing a little bit more maintenance. Uh, regular maintenance. Cleaning, really. But still important to be done. There we go. Also, we're not really, like, brushing here. I guess we can try to simulate it a little bit. There we go. And get inside that rim. Maybe this will have, like, a dirt identifying mode, like in, uh... House Flipper, where you actually kind of get to see where the dirt is. 
by it just being highlighted. We might we might have this though. We might have this. Good music though. I wonder if I'm gonna get B B D C M D M C C C C carbon copied. No D M C A. I don't want to be D M C A'd by uh, Susan. Okay, let's go up over the top. There we go. This is cool. I'd like to do more regular maintenance on other vehicles as well. Like, it'd be kind of cool to do this with, like, a concrete mixing truck or a train or an airplane. All right, so it looks like we missed a little bit, so we're going to try to be extra thorough here to make sure this isn't the culprit. And then we'll go back to that sec first and second tire, because those ones I may have missed a little bit. There might be something I didn't know to wash. But there's always room for improvement, right? There we go. Okay, that should be good. And hopefully this one's the one that we missed a little bit on. Oh, yeah, I can already see how dirty it is. There we go. Perfect. Go to the phone to finish the order. I like this uh, sponge. Nice. Okay, call the customer and turn her in. And there you go. Make a photo. and We'll do our before and after. I like these cars, too. They're real nice originals. All right, get designated... Wait, get to the designated point to enter the shed. What? Uh, by the way, this is not a shed. This is like a gargantuan like warehouse where they used to make bombers and stuff. In the shed, you can buy cars that, after restoration, can be sold for a profit. Oh, we can restore cars, too. That's cool. So right now we can buy the... Uh, what is the name of this? Uh, I don't even know. Let's buy it, though. All right, place the car here. Clean the interior, remove the trash, and sell the car on auction. Wow. So we bought the car at an auction already, or we somehow own this? Oh, this seems like a... This definitely seems like a Grand Theft Auto uh, scam or something like that, where, you know, somebody else goes out and finds these cars, you know, big emphasis on fines, and then brings them back here. And we, you know, we touch it up a little bit, maybe give it a paint job and some new uh, license plates or something, and then we send her on out. Okay. Well, we have to clean the interior. So, do we have to buy an interior cleaning kit? Maybe like a vacuum or something? Finished toolkit. Let's buy one of those. Do they have a Swedish toolkit? Or maybe a German one? Hmm. wonder why they have the finish. Oh, cool. We can also upgrade the uh, stand as well. Let's upgrade that. So, now we have three cleaning kits. And we should put that toolbox there. Oh, yeah. Cool. Now we have room for two more. Good. There's our finishing kit. What do we get with this? Um... Inventory, orbital polisher, paintwork meter, no tool, flashlight. Ooh, that might be helpful inside. Uh, flashlight really doesn't do anything. Uh, you'll need a special type of kit to clean the interior. Oh, must be a new one available now. Oh, yeah, I don't think that was there before. Clean up the trash. You need a trash can, which is included in the interior cleaning kit. Oh, I like that. Use the upholstery spray and a vacuum cleaner to clean the seats, wipers, and the carpet in the trunk. Okay. Dude, I love the uh, McFly doors. Very nice on the DeLorean here. Okay, let's see. So we need the trash can from the interior kit. So I guess we get a little trash bag with it. Oops. Hey, what is this? Wait, what comes in this kit? I need to know. Wait, is there anything else we can buy? Oh, Windows tool kit. Let's buy that. Maybe they'll have an Apple one very soon. And an Android. Let's not, let's not judge. Okay. Let's get rid of this trash then. Who literally puts water bottles and like old toothpaste and tin cans of like s sardines and stuff in here? Gr crazy people. Okay, anything in the trunk? Nope. All right. Trash removed. Good. Clean the interior. Okay. Inventory. So we need to pop these out though, don't we? How, how do we pop the... Uh... Oh. Oh, what? It dis it makes the car disappear. What the hell? Okay. Uh, I need an upholstery. There we go. Upholstery spray. Oh, we may as well just get the whole chair. The whole seat. There we go. Okay, use tool. Uh, so now we should be able to use a different tool. Vacuum cleaner. There we go. Oh, nice. You know, if you've never seen these YouTube videos as well, there are channels. There's actually some really good, like, restoration channels that you wouldn't think of. 
course, there's the typical ones where they restore like a, an old toy car or a pocket watch or like a PlayStation 1 or something like that. But there's also channels where uh, they restore like old lawn mowers and, and mow their lawn with like a 50s mower. And there's lawn care channels that kind of feel like that too, you know, where they're like restoring their backyard every week. But also, there are channels that uh, do this type of thing too, where they clean out cars and uh, clean carpets and stuff. Very interesting. All right, I hope we got most of this. We probably missed something, but I think a little bit of the cleaning the interior is also the trunk, so that looks good. All right, let's go over to the other one. We need to change our tool to the spray bottle. Nice. Very satisfying, this. It looks really cool. Okay, that's good. And then switch to the vacuum cleaner. Pretty easy to clean this up. So when we sell the car on the auction, I hope we make a ton of money. And we get to buy a new car. And continue the process of detailing. This is actually nice. This is something I wish they would add to a car mechanic simulator. Usually, you, at the very most, you maybe pop like a new steering wheel in or some new bench seats and that's about it. But the restoration of this would be really nice. To find an old car and have to also restore the interior. Okay, hopefully we got everything here. Oh, I see the the oh the mats are also dirty. Oh boy, can't just vacuum those up, can we? Does that need to be sprayed down? Probably wouldn't hurt. Oh yeah, that's nice. Beautiful. Yeah, let's get the other one. Oh, would you look at that? All right. So I wonder if the uh, trunk is part of the interior. I hope so. There we go. Hey, nice. So on these ones, we had to get it to about 90% or so. We'll try to clean this up as best we can. much cleaner. All right, go to the phone. Operators are standing by. There we go. Looking sweet. Very sweet. Okay, back to the phone. Always fun to do these jobs. All right, let's take a little picture. Obviously needed for the auction. Nice. Insert photo. All right. To sell a car, open the shop through the pie menu and select the car to sell. Uh, orders. Uh, orders? No. Shop? Oh, here we go. Auctions. Okay. So now we can sell the Royal GTR for $8,400. Now let's try to sell it for $10,000. That, wait, what, where's our profits? Ah, whatever. We'll just buy it for the, sell it for the basic price. Uh, the car has been put up for auction. Now we have to wait for a happy buyer. Sell car on auction. Okay. Car has been sold. Well, geez, now I feel like I could have just waited a little longer. The car has been sold. Congratulations. Confirm the sale by entering the store through the pie menu. Oh, there's our money, 4100 Okay. Is that what you want me to see? No? Store. Oh, there it is. Job done. Reward. Oh, wow. Oh, this this might be... Is this 10000 because we did it as a mission, or... Huh. Oh, yeah, maybe, because we did take time cleaning it. From now on, you can uh, take on new tasks yourself. Have fun. Okay, what do we got? Walker, Texas Ranger. Uh, the whole car is covered with mud, including the windows. I only drive I only drive around town. It must be the kids in the neighborhood. Yesterday, the neighbor's children were throwing mud on my windows. I will not lose my temper. What is this U-boat? Don't look through the window. 
Wait, what? Tires are perfect. It almost glows. Oh, the windows are just dirty? Uh, let's go with this one, though. Clean windows or watch the car. These are both objectives. Clean the windows and wash the car. Okay. All right, Walker. We'll uh, do your job. Let's see. So it's going to be... Inventory. Oh, that's not what we want. Oh, paintwork meter. Ooh, cool. Well, that's really cool. It looks like we can paint cars as well. Oh, is there any more stuff to buy? I want to buy more stuff with our money. Garage upgrades. Let's buy another thingy here. Okay, upgrade everything. Max. There we go. All right, now can we buy more kits? I want to see if there's any other kits that we can buy in the garage. Garage upgrades. Nope. Kits, everything sold out. Auctions, nothing. Okay, makes sense. All right, we need to switch to the cleaning kit then. What? What is the sonar mode? Oh, that must be what I was talking about. Where we can scan for dirt and grime, although I don't really see it marked. Okay, car body cleaning kit. Is that what we want? Yeah, that's better. All right, another car wash. Although this time a truck, much more satisfying. There we go. That's nice. Cool. It's so cool <laughs> how this goes on. I like it. And we can do the back end and the bed too. I'm standing on the uh I'm standing on the shelf. I don't think we'll have to get inside the bed, but uh that's all right. Now it's like coming out of the bottom of the hose. Oh, that's a glitch. Oh, now I'm stuck. Now it looks like I'm peeing on it. Okay. Oh, now I'm stuck. Did they not expect me to get up here? Uh-oh. Oh, I can't get off this shelf. <laughs> no! I'm on permanent display. Is there a way off? Uh-oh. Okay, this is a oversight. A glitch, if you will. I didn't expect to jump on the countertop. Um, boy, how do I get out of here? Uh-oh. Is there a way I can get to my phone? I need to call help. Please. Okay. Um, now we have to figure out how to get off the shelf. Um, oh, wait. Maybe I can crouch. Nope. Wait. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a little stool. Help me, stool. Can I step down on onto the floor? Damn it. I can't pick it up. It only drags on the floor. What the hell? Okay. No, I want to sell my truck. Maybe there's a way around this. Okay, let's try to problem solve. Move car. Okay, maybe we can move the car to a different spot. Nope. Wait, what's, what would literally be stopping us, by the way, from pushing the car slightly forward? Like, that's funny to me how we already own that section of the shop, but it's like, oh, you got to pay another $800 before you can use sl slot number two. Be like, at your house, if you have a two-car garage and you bought another car or whatever, and, you know, it's like, oh, well, you have this two-car garage, but you got to pay another $400 before you use the second slot. Like, what? That's not how any of that works. No, the foam's disappearing. Wait, maybe I can can't. Is there a way I can cancel this order? Oh, there we go. Okay, wait. We can place the second car. Oh, sweet. I teleported out. Okay. Saved by the teleport. Okay. So let's <laughs> let's get this done. All right, go back to foam. Oh, all the foam disappeared. Okay, I don't know what the other car needs. Well, that was hilarious. Hey, but there you go. So sometimes, you know, when when we make these videos and stuff, you gotta you gotta do a little troubleshooting sometimes and find your way around problems like that. And uh, life is a lot like that too. You know, younger audience members will just say "game bad bye," uh, but 
some of you who are a little older know that things like that's actually pretty realistic. There could be a problem like that that happened in your garage, and you have to just work around it. Rather than solving or addressing the problem, uh, don't even acknowledge the problem, really. Just do a workaround where you kind of acknowledge it by trying to get around it, and that's about all the effort you put into it. You know, it's like, uh, don't don't fix a bridge. Uh, just kind of try to find a way around the... Just find some shallow water uh, that's, you know, shallow enough for you to drive through, even though the bridge is out. That type of thing. That's how things go. And it'd be the same in this shop, too. Like, if our, uh, I don't know, foam emitter broke, well, guess who's going to get the old bucket? And the uh, and uh, a thing of soap. You want to do the best for the customer, but also the customer wants their stuff done. So it's like, when they come to pick it up, you just say, "Hey, our thing broke. You know, we'll give you a couple couple bucks off or whatever if it took a little longer." Well, that's compromise. That's compromise. That's good business. People understand things aren't perfect. That's why they watch this channel. <laughs> oh, we're almost done washing the car. There's got to be more on the back end or something. Oh no! Oh God, no! No! Okay. Okay, well, we're screwed. Damn it. I had to try to get up there. Okay, now now we're screwed. Wait, can I try this? Okay, we're, I think we're screwed. Damn, oh, that, damn it, it's the foam again. <laughs> oh, and it, wait, the foam works, but the water won't spray that far? Oh, damn. Oh, we're so screwed. Okay, well, the other car, the Nico Mobile. Oh, is that Nico Bellic from uh, Grand Theft Auto? Uh, clean the windows and clean the tires. So that would basically just come down to... Actually, wait. Do we have a window cleaning kit? Caster earthquake and uh, finished orders from before. Wow. Can't even believe that. Oh, boy. Well, there you go. I guess that's what you get with a free demo. Hopefully they fix this. Otherwise, I'm trapped up here. Like I said, workarounds. But, yeah. Trying to finish this job, too, by cleaning it up. Anyway... Cleaning the windows is pretty simple, it seems. We have our window kit as well. So hopefully we find a way to do that. I'm going to try one more way to try to get down here. I noticed something changed if I equip a tool. This is uh, something the devs will have to fix. I'm sure they'll get a little nice thing about demos, too, is that people can say, oh, hey, I love the game, but uh, hey, there was this issue. Can you fix that? And they'll get right on that. You know how it is. Is there a way to load? Maybe I can quick load. Nope. All right, be, oh, you can't even save in a demo. Makes sense. All right, well, that's going to be it for the episode, guys. Surprise celebration. Yay. It's like it's like we're popping in the wine bottle. Hey, we did it. Cool. <laughs> we kind of almost maybe finished the demo. Was that blood? That was red. Oh, boy. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much for watching. You guys are interested in the game. Uh, go ahead and make sure you download now and uh, try out the demo at least and then add it to your wish list if you think it's good. And then, of course, uh, look for people to probably talk about this glitch and then try to fix it as we get stuck up here and can't get down all right i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching thanks for your awesome positivity and make sure you say hi down below in the comment section i'd love to say hi back to a lot of you and i'm wondering too where are you guys watching from we get so many people watching from around the world i'm just wondering where everybody watches from today i know we have a lot of americans and europeans and sometimes we even get people from africa and uh also uh, what do they call it like uh oceania like basically the pacific like New Zealand and Australia. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye.